Namaste amigos! Here we are. We are doing a last minute, um, I guess you could say restaurant review. I was craving pizza today and my lovely Telugu husband. Telugu husband? Yes. You're Telugu, no? Yes. What are you? Yeah. Chinese? Telugu. He's a Chinese man and I didn't know. No, I'm joking. No, no, no. So the, this lovely chocolate Indian man that I'm married to, being the sweet gentleman that he is, was like, of course I will buy you pizza. So we were just gonna go to some random place, but then I remembered that I had saved on my phone this place that's called Rico Benes, which is just a few minutes away from our house. So, uh, we decided to try it out and take a video for you guys. Guess who's joining us today? <laughs> Las tres amigos. Ride or die. The one and only Ooh. Vivek. Da, 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 da. So one thing that caught my eye from this place is supposedly it boasts of having the world's most delicious sandwich or something like that. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because we pass by that place quite often. And one day it caught my eye. They have this big uh, poster on the window that says, um, I think it says world's most delicious sandwich or something so that was what caught my attention and that's why I saved it so today we are finally able to go and check it out and I'm very excited because if you guys have been following us for a long time you know that I am a huge fan of pizza like my the love of my life is pizza besides my Indian hub husband obviously he's number one then no let me see God is first my husband and then there's pizza so that is the order of it for me so we're um, we're gonna try it out and hopefully we like it because they have the sandwiches which they're known for but they also have other stuff on their menu like pizza and wings and I saw like some different types of fries and stuff like that and I'm so happy guys because summertime is finally officially here. Today's weather was beautiful. We were like in what the 60s? Yeah, low 60s. 60s. It was amazing. It was great. Oh, it's a busy area for sure. So there it is. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the sign that I saw so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is the sign that caught my attention right here. We see that all the time. So as you guys can see, best sandwich in the world. This particular breaded steak sandwich. So yeah. Oh, thank you. We have to order first. They just have like the menu like in the front. So we order first and then they call our number and we just sit wherever we want. And they also sell pizza by the slice. That's really good to know. Beautiful slices. They have thin crust and then they got like the regular crust. So I am going to, I was going to get pizza, but because this place is their specialty is the sandwiches. I don't want to miss out on the sandwich and they do have chicken different types of chicken sandwiches as well. So I'm gonna try the chicken parm because that's what the girl recommended me. I'm really liking the decoration that this place has. It's kind of like old school. As you can see, there's a lot of like pictures, old pictures probably of the history of this place. And uh, just the vibe, hello. Just the vibe is very cool. Today, it's not as busy, but uh, from what I saw in videos and reviews, this place can get very, very busy. But it's a very cool spot, honestly. They have a lot of options. They have a lot of like beef and pork, but they also have chicken, they have pasta, they have pizza by the slice, which I think is awesome. So yeah, I'm excited. So I got uh, the fruit punch minute made and uh, this is the sandwich. I'm just gonna wait for the guys to get their stuff before I do the reveal. Okay, so what did you guys order, Vivek? It's a hot wings, jalapeno poppers. Okay. I don't know, what's this? 
um, uh, it's a wings? the wings. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I think this might be the sauce. The sauce is probably. So let's see what these guys got. Ooh, what is this? The poppers? Jalapeno poppers. Nice. And then we got the we got the wings. They look amazing. Oh, the little veggies. Yeah. Uh, okay guys so for the big reveal um i was able to exchange my uh minute made for this italian uh, ice this is lemonade with cherry oh my god i'm very excited i was kind of like uh wanting to try this as well so this is the sandwich get a good shot the sandwiches are pretty good sizes actually from the look of it see very nicely wrapped. Oh my god. That's cute. Oh my god, it's a fire. Whoa. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> All right, so this is a sandwich. It's a chicken farm with uh, some peppers and cheese and uh, like spaghetti. Well, not spaghetti sauce, but like marinara sauce. Uh, so this is, this is pretty huge, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> wow. These are very good. Oh my god, they were not lying. They have like some type of cheese inside. Wow. wow. These are very tasty actually. Never had like um, jalapeno poppers. This tasty. Mm. Look, honestly. You guys know me. I'm very good at the expression. I will not make an expression if it's not worth it. And this, this is good. This is really good. I've had chicken farm before, but having it in a sandwich, it's a little bit like pizza in a way. So I don't know. I'm loving it. Look at this. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. What is your genuine feeling about your items? Uh, first of all, the poppers, they're very good. Yeah. Uh, I tried in so many places, but never had like this type of flavor. Yeah. So definitely they're very good. Worth it? Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Okay. Chicken wings, they're they also good actually. Yeah, okay. I like the flavor. Vivek didn't like it, but... No, Vivek? No, I don't like the, the sauce, maybe. sauce, maybe. The sauce is not your thing? No. But if you took away the sauce and replaced it with something else, how is the chicken in general? Okay. It, okay, okay. Alright. But the jalapeno popper was really good. Yeah, those actually, they're very, very fresh and they just, they look great. They're very mm -hmm. well stuffed. Cheese is melting. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a decent place because... I think when you go places like this, food you'll get for cheaper prices. Yeah. And also you get very good food. Yeah. Because, you know, generations of people making the same food. For sure. I, I think this is a family place. Mm -hmm. And it's been here for a yeah. while, like for several years. It's more like chill vibes. You yeah. Know? It's very chill, like nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Simple, but right. you know, simple and sweet. <laughs> right. Yes. So it's good. All right. Well, me, I, I honestly can say I'm very much enjoying this sandwich. I, uh, I'm glad that I ended up picking the sandwich instead of the pizza. And this baby here, I'm actually going to try it because I want to know what this tastes like. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's like candy. It's like cherry candy. I can't taste the lemonade too much, but uh, the cherry for sure. This... Um, this Italian ice is literally reminding me of one of my favorite ices of all time, which is the slushies that they sell at the AMC. You know, the one with the white bear on them. I think they're called ices. And, um, you know, they always have the red one and the blue flavor, which is like cherry and uh, I think it's blueberry. This literally tastes like that. Um, the lemon is on the bottom, so I need to mix it up, but uh, I, I really like this flavor a lot, actually. It's, it's really good. So the boys got the cheese pizza. Look at how beautiful that looks. Thin crust? 
Yeah, thin crust. Thin crust. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, that's a very decent iced very pizza. Hot. And uh, to me, this size is pretty much the same size as the Costco pizzas. So it's like, to me, that looks like two, no, most... two slices, right? Two slices in, in one, which that's good for me. I need some time because it's super hot. Yeah, we'll wait for it to, to cool down a little bit. By the way, I reached the lemon part and oh my god guys, the lemonade flavor, I feel like it might be made with real lemon juice because I got a little lemon seed in there. So that to me says it's real lemon juice and it's freaking bomb. What do you think, Vivek? Hold up. Get some, get some from this little part right here because it's the lemonade inside. Yeah, dig in there so you can get the lemon flavor. It's really good mixed with the cherry. I'm in love, people. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, right? It's too good. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But you know, me and Vivek are big, big on sweets. If there's something that we both love in this world, it's sugar, huh, Vivek? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We will not say no to sugar. Our or... body reminds us the sugar levels. Exactly. Every time. <laughs> we are addicts of the sugar, people. That's that's a fact. Yes. It's delicious. Delicious. The Barta's turn. Shalom, <laughs> Barta. Cheers. Nam 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 nam. Yeah. Good actually. Yeah, the verdict. It has the authentic lemon flavor. Right? Maybe I don't know if I like the cherry, but I like the lemon. The lemon. lemonade, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's made with real lemons. I'm telling you, I got the seeds, so mm -hmm. I feel like it might be. Because the cherry yeah. is definitely taking out the flavor. It's it's a strong, but if you mix it, it it's it is delicious. very strong actually. Yes. But I like it like the lemon itself. Right. It's very delicious. Yeah, the lemonade is very it's like a sweet tartness. Mm -hmm. It's great. Definitely going in for the kill, guys. I'm more than halfway done with mine. I'm uh, giving my stomach a little bit of room to push the food down so I can finish it. Okay. Here's the bata trying it out. Honest review, no? It's bland. Oh, the flavor? Yeah, even Vivek is saying that the, the salt is not there. It's needing some salt. You, did you find salt packets? It's not even salt, like uh, it's plain. <laughs> Just it's plain, you don't have any oh, flavor. No. That sauce, you don't have any flavor. <laughs> what a buzz! I think at least Costco one is better, better than this. Costco's better! Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe we got the wrong one, but this is not. So but maybe. I mean, they added uh, a spoon of uh, nine other sauce. Oh, uh, very less. Big slice. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's Look not. Look at the uh, slices. So that's the problem, actually. Not enough marinara no. sauce. Yeah, it's all just okay. cheese. So. so if marinara sauce is uh, I mean, not enough. Too much? Yeah. Then it will be taste good, I, I guess so. They need to add a little bit more of the sauce. Yeah. I got it. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Maybe what they're. <laughs> hey, it, this is honest review, okay? This is not trying to tell you guys something that's not. At least for them, the situation was not that great. I think their specialty. I mean, their food is good. Yeah. But Just the pizza might maybe not. I don't think this is a pizza place for sure because especially they're famous for sandwiches. Yeah, their specialty is a so sandwich. You should try something, sandwiches. Or... Yeah, go ahead. Give it a shot. Yep. Yeah, it's good. It's the same like um, whenever you're done the sandwich, the yeah. sub, similar to that, but with all these like, cheese and the, the and the peppers, sauce, peppers. Yeah. So um, it is too good. Right. Yeah, I think for sure their specialty is the sandwiches for sure. But uh, yeah, so definitely if you guys come here, make sure to try the sandwiches because that's what they're known for. And their other stuff are good as well. We're not saying it's not, but definitely the pizza in uh, their opinion, it's somewhat bland. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was 
being the pizza expert that I am, I will tell you if this is good or not. Okay? I would know. First go of all, go, go. Let me see. <laughs> Nothing gonna no, say. Chop. Chop. See, see. As a non-Indian who absolutely loves pizza, this is not bad. To me, the crust has a really nice little crunch on the bottom, but it's also soft. I do agree with Vivek that they might need to add a little bit more marinara sauce and I, I agree with you guys that maybe the salt is a little bit less but I don't feel like it's bland like these um this tastes like you know what it's like it tastes like the cheese sticks that <laughs> I mean it's the same right <laughs> no, <laughs> whatever is I mean they don't have the salt and no marinara salt a little salt but but besides that I don't think it's I don't think it's completely bad like it's I would eat this and I would probably buy more on another day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. You still like it because maybe you're a pizza lover. Yeah, I think it's because I'm a pizza lover. Well, that was, uh, for me personally, that was a very fun and good experience. I think the guys were not that impressed, but uh, it was fun to try, you know? You happy? Yeah, of course. I I mean that's all that is. <laughs> all right, well we're back home guys. Um uh, I <laughs> I enjoyed the dinner. Unfortunately, uh, the guys did not. But uh, one thing that we were talking about right now is um, I think it's a little bit harder for Indians to like enjoy the food that's not Indian because you guys are used to having like a lot of the, you know, the chili powders, the masalas and stuff like that. So obviously, I'm sure that food that's not Indian food tastes not that great, you know, or kind of like bland or something. So it's not like we don't like all the food or something like that some are specifically right. right because we also enjoy like some food when we go out obviously yeah i mean i'm not saying not that like, it's not like they don't enjoy yeah. everything but it's harder for them to find good tasting food Definitely. because they're used to like very strong flavors and they're everyday foods like it's not just like specific foods for them it's like yeah. every single curry that they eat has chili powder coriander powder turmeric masala cumin powder <laughs> like you know it's it's not just you know a salt and pepper type of situation i also wanted to show you guys this really cool t-shirt uh that i got at one of my favorite stores at the mall uh, Spencer's is the store. I've been looking for a Bob Marley t-shirt for a long time and then uh, finally I found this one him and Bob Marley and the Wailers the name of his his group his band and it's a picture of him in concert and uh, let me see if I can show you guys the back because the back has a really cool quote that I absolutely love about music. Here's the back. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it too much but it says one good thing about music when it hits you, you feel no pain. This is a quote by Bob Marley. And uh, I identify with this quote because I literally survive off of music. I have to have music in my life because it's the one thing that keeps me going every single day. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with this t-shirt. It was like uh, 20 something dollars, that place, the Spencer's place. They have really cool funky t-shirts like this one and they have like other celebrities or artists or they have just like funny looking uh, designs and stuff. So like if you're a person who likes to play around with fashion and likes to wear like funky t-shirts or pants or just styles that are kind of funky, that place is the place to go. So before I end this video, I would just like to say a big thank you to my sponsor Harish for once again <laughs> making my dreams come true as a wonderful husband and uh, buying me pizza even though his experience unfortunately was not that great um i'm so sorry for that sir hopefully okay. next time it's better but uh he's basically like are you happy as long as you're happy that's all that matters and i'm like oh my god like you know we should both be happy we should be happy yeah, with me 
Are you happy? Do you feel happy if I feel happy? Of course, that's what makes men happy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, I hope you like this video and uh, we had fun recording and tasting everything. At least one thing that we do enjoy is going and finding new spots. So that was a fun part for me and for the guys. Like we, we really do enjoy trying out new places. Sometimes it's a hit or miss, you know, you can't always have uh, great food. Sometimes you think, oh, it's gonna be wonderful and it doesn't always turn out that way, but uh, it was definitely worth going to. And I don't wanna discredit it completely. Like the food was not like, super bad like honestly you guys should go try it because the some of the items were very good and some of them were not that good but uh, you know that's how it is sometimes sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not well anyways thank you for watching until the next video bye